If I had the office of of an apostle or a prophet and and uh, I demanded everybody to, to give me that kiss the ring treatment, you know what I mean? Like how how would you how would you perceive God? You perceive God as arrogant. What's going on everyone? It's been a minute since I've done a video like this. Do me a favor, hit that like button, share the video, comment where you're watching from. I want to go ahead and I want to take you along with me on a wisdom walk. It's been a while since I've done one of these kind of videos. I think one of the first ones that I ever did was one of my first uploads after going full time on YouTube. And I just felt like God just wanted me to talk about why it's... It's important to why you shouldn't hold the title. I'm not saying it's wrong for you to have a title, but the heart behind it. It it's not good to flaunt it. It's it's good to it's it's good for God to give you an office, a biblical office. But what I'm saying is that when it when it becomes an, uh, a question of of it boosting up your your pride. That's when God has an issue with it. Because then you're doing it for the reason of vanity. It's vain. And so that you can, you know. It's so that you can flaunt the title. And that's that's not good. Because when you begin to flaunt the title. That, there goes your humility. You know what I'm saying? It's not wrong for you to have a title. Jesus was the son of God. But it says in Philippians that that was nothing for him to hold on to. So he knew his identity. But he didn't use that and he didn't flaunt it around as a reason for him to be treated like a king. Because he came in the form of a servant. He put aside his divinity to serve the brethren to serve the bride to serve the church it's good to have a title and I, and I understand when you have a title and you, you know you have a title when you know that God has given you a divine office fivefold ministry apostle, prophet, evangelist teacher, pastor you feel this this feeling of of usefulness you feel special and i understand that there's nothing wrong with with feeling that way because you delight yourself in the lord but when it becomes an issue of you flaunting it around and and you know demanding respect and demanding this sort of special treatment and demanding uh the high seat at the table you demand the, the seat of honor all the time you demand your own honor you hype yourself up you uh, you know what I mean that's when it becomes an issue and it becomes an issue because that that destroys your humility and it destroys not only you it, it destroys you in your mind because and it doesn't only destroy you it destroys the image of God how do we make God look as representatives for example if I had the office of, of an apostle or a prophet and, and uh, I demanded everybody to, to give me that kiss the ring treatment you know what I mean like how how would you how would you perceive God you perceive God as arrogant not only that where is, where is it gonna take your heart you're no longer at the place of humility you're now demanding everybody's respect. There's nothing wrong with you having a title. But if you want to move biblically, if you want to minister biblically, the correct way to go about it is humility. Is you not demanding that respect and just letting God exalt you. You know, God detests the proud like the scriptures say, but he gives grace to the humble. 
there's a saying you know if there's a pl the higher the plane is the smaller it looks you understand what I'm saying you, do you get that so it's always important to maintain the humility Like you always want to resemble Christ in everything you do, small or big. Even just just walk in the spirit. That's the the solution's the same to everything. You know, uh, pride, vanity, ego. Solution is simple. Just walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit and and fast and pray. The solution's all in the Word of God. Everything that you need is in that book. It's between the beginning and the end of that book. Everything you need. New Testament, Old Testament. And it's not just about life advice. It's about displaying the heart of God. It's about that book displaying God's character. And God's heart behind everything. It's understandable that you know you feel good about yourself. When God hands you an office, a powerful office, and you even see supernatural power to back it up. But what did Christ say? He said, be meek and humble like me. What is what is meekness? Meekness is, you know, having power and, and having uh, having the ability to display power, but choosing to take the humble position. Jesus could have called le uh, a legion of angels. To rescue him and burn this whole place down but he didn't the whole part of the plan was him making that sacrifice for you that's meekness you know having the ability to do something but choosing humility but godly humility is where it's at not worldly humility worldly humility is worthless it's all about godly humility it's for the Lord that's what holds value. Humility for the world is, is false humility and it has no weight to it. In fact, there's probably no fruit in worldly humility. You need godly humility. That humility that comes from the Holy Spirit. It's good to have a title. But we have to keep our, char our character in check. We have to align with the Word of God. Most importantly, most importantly, we have to align with the heart of God. We have to align with the character of Christ, who is Jesus. And we have to walk. We have to walk in the Spirit, maintain the image of Christ, reflect Christ in everything we do, small or big. You, you, you plant seeds, and sometimes you might recognize it, and, and other times you might not. But use wisdom and use discernment. Oh, a couple of flies. All right, guys. Came out here early in the morning to give you this word. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Send this video to a friend. Comment where you're watching from. If you wanna go ahead and donate, in the ministry i would greatly appreciate it but it's not required i'll drop the cash app in the zone in the comments below i'll pin it in the comments if you want to zell we haven't been able to zell just comment that you want to zell if you want to and i'll drop that information also there if you want a cash app it's it's there also all right guys so that's it for this video share this with a friend that needs to hear this with a leader church leader pastor somebody i say this with humility i don't say this with arrogance uh this channel is a tool this channel is a resource uh to deepen your walk with the lord to show you a perspective of the heart of god that's the whole point of this channel so if you know somebody that needs to hear this and god is dropping somebody in your mind and your heart share this video with them and uh all right guys i'll see you later till next time